Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I will show you how to run Gazebo and Arvis on your Windows 10 computer using VSL2. So VSL2 is, stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux 2 and if you don't know how to install it I will put a link in the description below. But I assume that you have VSL2 and that you have Arvis and Gazebo installed before you do this tutorial. So let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is that you want to go over to google.com and search for VCXSRV and you want to download this software to your computer and install it. So what this basically is, is that it's an open source software which will let you run a GUI for your Linux subsystem softwares. So if you run a program on a subsystem for Linux, you will get a user interface for it. So when you have downloaded and installed VCX SRV, you want to go to your start menu and you want to search for uh, X launch and you want to start that application. So then you want to set it up and you want to set it up so that you have multiple windows checked. You want to change this minus one to zero and you want to click next and next again. And then here you want to uncheck native open GL and you want to check disable access control. Then you click next and then you hit finish. So now you have X launch running on your computer. What you want to do next is that you want to go to your start menu or no, what you want to do next is that you want to go open up your terminal for VSL2. So this is my Windows subsystem for Linux terminal. So in here, I, before I start Gazebo and Arvis, I want to copy these lines inside. And I will put these lines in the description of this video so you can easily find it. But what you want to do is you want to first set an environment variable in Linux to which is called Gazebo IP to localhost. Then you want to run this line here, which will say that the display to use is this one here, which basically is the xlaunch application. And then you want to take this line here and also copy it and paste it here. And when you have run this, you can actually start Gazebo on your computer. So now if I write Gazebo here and hit enter, Gazebo will start and I will actually get the application and running up and running. So that's good for us. So now I want to start Arvis. And to do that, I first need to start a ROS core for it to be able to start. So I will just do that. And then if I try to write Arvis now, I will get a segmentation fault. So what I need to do then is that I, you go to your notepad or you copy this line again, export libgl always indirect zero. So you copy it and then you paste it in and hit enter. And now if you try to start Arvis again, Arvis will actually start. So now you have both Arvis and you have Gazebo running on your computer on Windows 10 using VSL2 and this VCX SRV. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it, guys.